The contents shown in the video are just for the guidance. The field engineers and all employees connected with railway works should follow the course manuals and instructions given by the railway board and RDSO from time to time for the safety of the trains. Once again, Vanakam and welcome to PV Engineers YouTube channel. In this, in this video, we can see how to monitor the track tolerances by oscillation monitoring system, that is OMS. To monitor the track parameter and to find the track quality, one of the mechanized method is OMS equipment. Monthly OMS inspection should be done for the tracks having speed above 100 km pickets and all other tracks once in two months and CTE can decide the frequency of OMS inspection. Before going to see the details, we need to know some important concepts of track. The main function of the track is to provide a very good and smooth path for the travel and transfer load to formation through rail fittings, sleeper and ballast. So it should provide safety and comfortable ride to passengers. The track quality is judged by the riding comfort, the track geometry parameters, vehicle design parameters and speed of the vehicle. We people, the engineering department should concentrate on track geometry parameters. The important track parameters are gauge alignment, unevenness, cross level and twist. Gauge defect means variation from nominal gauge. Nominal gauge is 1676 mm. Alignment is deviation in horizontal plane. Unevenness is irregularity or deviation in vertical plane. Cross level is rail level difference in the same sleeper. Also called a super elevation or cant. Twist is vari variation in cross levels in a particular base. Next we can see the nomenclature of movements of vehicles. Translation in the x-axis is shuttling. It may cause of loose shunting. Rotation in x-axis is rolling. Translation in y-axis is lurching. Rotation in y-axis is pitching. Translation in z-axis is bouncing. Rotation in z-axis is nosing. In this video, we can see the working of OMS equipment. A periodic variation of a matter between two values or about its equilibrium value is called as oscillation. The OMS system is worked on the basis of oscillation system. The OMS equipment should be kept on the coach floor almost close to the bohi pivot. The red mark shows the bohi pivot position. Battery supply is given to the OMS equipment. The OMS equipment consists of accelerometer and transducer. The accelerometer taking the readings of vertical and lateral oscillations by the vehicle's response and transducers converts the oscillations into electrical signals. In this OMS equipment, the accelerometer is the main component and other components are mass M, flexible plate and silicon fluid. In this accelerometer, mass M is connected with a thin plate. This casing is filled with silicon damping fluid. By the vibration, the output is taken. The different output is given by the accelerometer for the tension, compression and strain. The OMS inspection is under the control of zonal headquarters. It calculates the vertical and lateral acceleration, speed of the vehicle and ride index. The mechanical accelerations are processed by the transducers in the accelerometer. The processed output is shown in the monitor. Report generated for every 200 meters of block. (laughs) 
the initial trachylometer is to be fed in the system and and all the other locations and defective locations can be automatically calculated by the GPS. This OMS equipment is enabled with the GPS system. The exact route map can be set by this system. The exact defect location can be seen through this through this route map. The speed of the OMS is shown in the speedometer. Now exactly 110 kmph is the speed of the OMS. Less than 60% of the maximum permissible speed is non-recording of OMS. For A root less than 75 kmph and B root less than 65 kmph is non-recording of OMS. During OMS inspection, rear window inspection can be done by the divisional engineers, ADN and senior section engineers. The original track kilometer shown in the hectometer post and kilometer fed in the system should be checked then and there. Lateral and vertical accelerations are shown in the monitor. The acceleration peak values are considered for speed more than 110 kmph is 0 0.15 g and all other routes acceleration peak values are considered as greater than 0 0.2 g. Here up to 0 0.15 g is green, 0.2 is shown in red mark. If any peak arises greater than 0.15 g, it will be shown in the acceleration peak values. Here, lateral peak is shown as 0.16. Here, vertical and lateral ride index are shown for every 200 meter blocks. By clicking the route map also, we can see the defective location. The exact location of the defect is shown here. Based on these results, the required track maintenance plan is carried out.